This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Nick Quaterni, and here's the latest news from WENY and the Star Gazette. The Cuomo family has announced funeral arrangements for former New York State Governor Mario Cuomo, who passed away last week. Today, two wakes will be held at the Frank Campbell Funeral Home in Manhattan. Tomorrow, a funeral service will be held at the St. Ignatius Loyola Church, also located in Manhattan. The funeral is open to family and friends. Police are still looking for clues on the missing Mark Twain plaque stolen from Woodlawn Cemetery in Elmira. The plaque went missing sometime in the past several weeks before a visitor notified officials, but there may be a possible solution if the plaque is not yet recovered. According to our media partner, the Star Gazette, a Mark Twain scholar in Texas owns the plaster cast used to make the original plaque. The owner says he is willing to lend the cast if needed. New York is revising notice requirements and raising penalties meant to prevent employer, employer theft of wages. The new law authorizes penalties of $50 a day for failing to provide new, new workers within 10 business days written notice of the rate or rates of pay, whether hourly, daily, by shift, weekly, salaried or commissioned, as well as any tip, meal or lodging allowances under New York's minimum wage law. Now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with today's forecast. Nick, I'm going to start you off with the hour by hour forecast because here's the deal. Uh, the high temperature already occurred for today. It was at midnight and 47 degrees and temperatures are going to fall through the course of the day. So you can see that kind of reflected here 20s into the teens by the evening and throughout the course of the day there will be episodic snow showers moving through at times. Nothing too uh, significant in terms of accumulation. Significant lake effect though in the favored lake effect areas not for us. However, yeah, teens by this evening and a strong wind. We've been clocking wind gusts this morning, 40, 42 miles per hour at the airport, and that wind is going to persist through the course of the day. So that means wind chills, right? Well, we've got those. And winter, it's back with some snow showers, episodic snow showers moving through at times today. Uh, it's an Arctic assault. It's been a while since I've been able to use those two words. And you know what, you want to bring your pets in, uh, especially as we head into uh, Wednesday and Wednesday night, because temperatures are going to drop on Wednesday. Wind chills on the day Wednesday in the single digits and actually below zero all day Wednesday and will be down near zero for the low Wednesday night, still with the wind. So wind chills will be an issue into Wednesday night. Bottom line, bring the furry guys inside. Sharp, cold, and wind chills. So here we go today, and you'll kind of be able to make out that the, the lake snows to the north and east of us uh, will really start to pile up. But here's the deal. It's a west wind today, and you'll be able to see as we head throughout the course of the day, there'll be some scattered snow showers passing through. Then we get into Tuesday, you're saying, well, Craig, what's the deal with this snow? This is kind of an area-wide trace to two-inch affair here tomorrow as a weak little clipper system comes through on Tuesday. Then we get into Wednesday, and again, that's going to be the brutal cold day. Should be in the 20s Tuesday, Wednesday likely in the teens, and dropping. And there will be flurries and scattered snow showers moving through at times. But again, it's not going to add up much. It's just going to be cold. And you'll be able to see that here on your seven day forecast. So 24 today, 22 tomorrow, 16 Wednesday, one Wednesday night, 17 Thursday. Yeah, you get the idea. It's here to stay for a while and flurries and snow showers. Nothing significant. We may get to near 30. 30 by Sunday. That is going to feel pretty nice after this little Arctic outflow ordeal kind of thing we've got going on here midweek. Nick. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WNY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. Don't forget to pick up a, t a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Nick Returney. Have a great day, everyone.